Okay, so you're sitting in your office and your boss comes in and he's basically saying to you, you need to make this infographic about some stats that we've got. And you know, you don't really have a lot of time to make these infographics, but you need to make them cool. And one of the things he says is like, I need you to make the numbers look like they're counting up from nothing. You know, like somebody's winning the lottery or something like that. And then he asks you a question, what does this, what does the scanner say about the power level? And you basically reply, um, it's over 9,000. And he goes, that's the stat I want you to produce. So today we're going to look at making this infographic where it counts up to 9,000. Um, it's pretty simple, but I was actually looking for this, uh, method the other day and I, it actually took me a little bit of time to Google it. I mean, honestly, if you, if you can't find the answer for things, just Google it. I don't really know why you're even watching this tutorial because you probably could find the answer on Google. But in the event that you're a little bit lazy and you just want to find all your answers in one place, well, here you go. You can find it here on uh, this YouTube channel. But let's get started. There's a few components to this. It's not very complicated, but it is pretty much just a little bit of um, expressions. And let's, uh, let's dive in. So firstly, um, now with this, all I've just done is um, really just add in the typewriter preset, and it's one, it's it's pretty easy if you just bought, if you're just wanting a little bit of extra, you know, finesse. That's all you need to do. Um, I'm pressing U to bring up the the free the keyframes and uh, just move this keyframe back, and we go. Woo! It's over nine thousand. Great. Now let's add the actual nine thousand. It's very small. It's not the font we want anyway. Let's make it something else. Da, da, da. I can't remember what I used before. There's something up here. Let's just pick a font. Helvetica, it's always a winner. And bold. And let's make it roughly the same colors that we were picking before. Maybe this one. And we'll give it a little bit of a, a green, tealy, stroke e thing. And we'll make it a bit bigger. Woo! Now we're cooking. All right, that stroke's a little bit small, so we'll go here, make the stroke a little bit bigger. It's probably not quite right. It looks a bit gross, actually. Why don't I just use the same font? Anyway, actually, what is, I know that font. It's, um, it's, um, don't tell me, don't tell me. I saw it before. Here it is. That's what I was looking for. All right, that's the font I'm looking for. Perfect. Now, um, it's quite simple, actually. We don't even need the text. I don't even know why I put it in there, but just say that's that's what you want. So we can just time it so it's over, and then we have the numbers coming up from there. So press uh, the, I'll just make this, I'll just shrink this down to there. Shortcut for that was the uh, square bracket. So just go there, yep. And um, now here's where the fun part comes in. So let's go to the effects and presets, and we'll grab the slider expression. And let's drag that on there. Now, at the moment, um, you don't really need the word nine. You don't actually need the, the number 9,000 in there. We can just delete that. And um, let's just make, and let's just right justify that as well. So the numbers will count up, not from the middle, but from the side. You'll see what I mean in a sec. Anyway, so let's go to the source text and let's also bring up the effects slider. Now this is where we can, I'm just going to press tilde, a little squiggly key next to the one. And uh, let's bring this up. So what I'm going to do is um, parent this. So if you alt click the source expression, um, you can actually pick with this to the slider. Now what's really great about this now is that it just, that text, that source text there will actually inherit whatever the slider is. So if we go you know, we want to make this 20, it'll be 20. And that's pretty, pretty much as easy as it is. Now, the problem I had with this though, is when you do decide to keyframe things. Okay. So we want to, um, go from here to say, let's say 9,000. Um, it does this really strange thing. I'll just show you what I mean. It actually gives you too many decimal places. So that's what I mean. So this weird decimal place thing happens and I actually don't know the reason why, but I did figure out a way to solve that. So all you need to do is, um, apply an expression to this expression. Um, and the expression is here. It is math.round, uh, and just put a bracket around the expression there. So if we go back here, whoops, and we put the word math and it's capital M math 
dot round and then open bracket and make sure you close that bracket. That will actually make it to the nearest integer. If you know what an integer is, um, maybe you need to go back to school. Nah, I'm just joking. Just look up on the internet. Um, now there you go. That solves you. That solves that problem for you. And that's pretty much as easy as it is. Um, well, thank you for listening. Now, for those people who just want to go on their lives, go ahead. But if you want to stay around for an extra bonus round, I'm going to show you something new. Um, just say, for example, you want to actually do things that are decimal related. So, you know, 25.5% of people watch this video or 0.6% of people uh, who own too many cats end up alone. Oh, actually, that's kind of weird. That's not really the right statue, but the other way, like 92.6% of whatever. Anyway, so, um, but ba, ba, ba this is the bonus round. So, uh, so we want to create something like this. So where you want to show the percentages, right? So, uh, that's quite easy. What you have to do is basically plug in this part of the formula and you just put a, if you're watching, you're watching, this is really amazing. So what you do is you just put a, divided by 100, and that will give you two decimal places. I know, it's amazing. So let's, uh, in this case, but the thing is, right, like if you want uh, 9,000, you're actually gonna have to put something, um, something, you'll see what I mean, sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about, blah. Um, that actually makes it 90, and it's because it actually looks at this number and goes, okay, so it'll actually split the two these two numbers. So if you want to make it 9,000%, nine, you have to actually put an extra couple of zeros. So two more zeros and we've got 9,000 back again, but it'll actually do all the decimal places in between. So I hope that makes sense. It's the same with this other one where um, the, I had to put the number to get to the number eight, seven, five, seven, I had to put eight, seven, five, seven, uh, and that will give you 87.57. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I, I hope this whole tutorial makes some sense. So, um, that's it. Pretty simple. Hope you guys got something out of it. Um, I'm working on a, uh, a short film at the moment that I hope will be finished pretty soon. I can get into this competition that is, uh, in Brazil, but, um, if it doesn't finish, well, you know, I hope I finish it afterwards. But if you want to just check out my uh, blog, nitku.com, uh, just see what's going on with the uh, animation or just if you just want to just see and uh, look at how I just ramble on about stuff as I do here in the tutorial, but whatevs. Um, anyway, you've been watching uh, Fix It and Post and uh, we'll see you soon.